Okay, so here is um, the last few examples. These are very similar to the ones inside your homework. So they are additional into what um, Pearson has given me for the notes. So this one says the table shows the percent of workers that stayed in their chosen field. The data are modeled by right and so what they're asking you for is to find that y value so all we need to do is take our in and plug in 18 for x so what do we get here let's see 0 0.1 times 18 squared minus 1.10 times 18 plus 35.83 we get 48.43 percent and so that's what you would type in the computer in my math lab that one's not too bad now here it says approximately oh that's what it's gonna that's what it has in my math lab and that's where you type the 43.4 48.43%. So not too, too bad. Let's see another example. This one says, a total amount spent by some number of people on clothing and footwear in years 2000 to 2009 can be modeled by the quadratic function f of x equals all of this, where x represents January 1, 2000, and 1 represents January 1 of 2001, and so on. Um, f of x is in billions of dollars according to the model in what year during this period was the amount spent on clothing and footwear at a maximum so again there's that word that should automatically remind you of vertex you know how to find vertex so h is going to equal negative b over 2a b in this case is going to be 72.78 a in this case is negative 4.773. So if I type that in my calculator, I get, and I round that, I'm going to have to round that, I get 7.62. Um, but you don't want to use the rounded version in your calculator. When you're typing in the number, notice that that was the last thing that I got in my calculator. So I do have to plug that in. So I know K is going to be 4.773 times that number. I'm just going to put a dot because I'm not going to write down all the digits. Plus 72.78 again that number plus 97.06. So my calculator, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type negative 4.773 and I'm gonna hit second and answer. It's over here above the negative, the green stuff. And if I hit this, notice it says answer. So what it's gonna do is it's going to plug in the whole entire decimal. It's not gonna chop it off and round and then plus 72.78 times that same answer plus 97.06. And so we get this number and that I can round, um, 374.50. Okay, so in what year? Well, it had passed this amount of time. This one's a little bit confusing because um, you know that x equal to 0 is 2,000. So x equal to 7 
would be January 1st, 2007. So if I have x equal to 7.62, that's still going to be 2007, just not January, right? It's going to be like, I don't know, 0.62 times 12. It will be sometime in the 7th month. So sometime in July. Okay, but the year is still 2007. And then how many billions of dollars? It would be $374.5 billion was spent. Oh, you can't see this. So that's the box that they have there at the end of the um, my math labs problem. So you would type in your year that you got, and then you would type in the billions of dollars that you got. Okay, still not too bad. I'm still at about six minutes of the video, so I think we'll have enough time to do the last one. The last one says the number of mosquitoes M of X in millions. There's that word again. If they use the word minimum, it's the same thing. Both of those should remind you of vertex. So what rainfall produces the maximum number of mosquitoes? Now remember, rainfall is the x. So I'm only needing to find the x value of the vertex. Um, so x equals negative b over 2a. And in this case, be careful. b is the coefficient of x. So it's actually this guy. This is not in its uh, correct form, actually. So m of x, if I want to put it in the correct order, should have the negative x squared in front and then the positive 17x behind it. So b is a positive 17, and then 2 is a negative 1. So we get um, negative 17 over negative 2, which is 8.5, positive. So it says, uh, what rainfall produces the maximum number of mosquitoes? It would be 8.5 in inches. So 8.5 inches of rainfall would produce the maximum number of mosquitoes. Now what if they ask you for, what if they say, what are the maximum number of mosquitoes? Right? It might have that additional part. If it does want to know how many mosquitoes there are when, at this uh, maximum time, then that means you actually have to plug in um, the 8.5. So you have to do 17 times 8.5 minus 8.5 squared. And let's see what we get. I get 72.25. And it says that this one's in millions. So it's 70, 72.25 millions. And that's it for this um, section.